Happy Sunday. The sun is shining. I'm just making my way through this car park here. I have to go into Hobbycraft and get some um, glue. I need the E600 and um, I basically have to make some of these bracelets here for a customer of mine's. Now, I didn't know I was going to have to go the extra mile, like literally the extra mile. So. I ordered yeah I ordered these um, beads about two weeks ago and they came in time but I also ordered the glue now I'm there getting along with things that I need to get along with in regards to life and I'm thinking to myself hold on a minute where is the glue that I ordered? So, I've gone on to Etsy because I ordered it from Etsy. So, I've checked on Etsy and saw that I've ordered this glue from since the 5th of May. And I'm like, hold on a minute. It was like the 15th at the time. It's what, the 19th now. So, it was like the 15th at the time. So, I sent them a message and said, hold on. What is going on? I ordered my glue and all now it can't reach. And all now I ain't got no reply. So I thought, you know what? Let me come out and go to the hobby craft and get this glue because I still got my customer there waiting for her bracelets. And now these bracelets here, they're not really a thing that I create to sell, if that makes sense. I know how to to make them but I don't actually have them on my site because um, as far as I'm concerned when I make things to sell to customers I like to make things that I know will last a lifetime like something like this one here so something like this one here I know if I make this send it to a customer it's gonna last forever amen but these ones here they're not guaranteed to last a long time and I don't want to send these out to customers and you know maybe four months five months later they've got an issue with it and then I'm gonna to have to go and source the beads and make the product again for me I just just really don't want things that are gonna be a hassle but maybe it's just me to be honest I think it is just me <laughs> it might just me be me that's the issue but that's the way my mind thinks so um anyway uh, these bracelets here that I've made I've had them for about two years so in my mind is the issue yeah so I'm just gonna work with this glue here um, reason being as well because it's a customer but it's also a friend of mine's as well so if anything should happen to it I'll just um, tell her to let me know if anything happens to it ASAP and then I can get it sorted so we should be cool um, I'm gonna try and have a little faith in this glue <laughs> oh mate yeah so anyway it's a Sunday here. I'm just gonna make my way um, back home. But I think I'm gonna go to the Marks and Spencers next door first and see what I can grab, grab to eat because it's Sunday and I'm not cooking today. Hey all. Yeah. Um, I got to the Marks and Spencers and it was closed. <laughs> I got to the doors and um, they just didn't open I can see someone in there just mopping the floor I was like oh shit well it is Sunday so I had to go to the Lidl's I went into the Lidl's and um, I only got a few items in there so the lady at the till she was just so rude I paid for my things and she gave me the receipt 
but she didn't give me she didn't give it to me in my hand she's just literally kind of just threw it at me there was a bit of attitude behind it and I just picked up my receipt and I just looked at her and walked through the door there was no thank you there was no have a good day and there was no goodbye because if you don't like your job it ain't got nothing to do with me be nice to people you know no need for that attitude it is a lovely day outside I know she's inside that's why <laughs> not my problem okay so I went to the Marks and Spencers no sorry I went to the Lidl's because the Marks and Spencers wasn't open and I got a few things but I wanted to get something to eat in the Marks and Spencers and I don't now I don't know really what to eat for dinner because I don't want to get nothing from Lidl's I didn't even actually want to go in Lidl's now I know why because it, it this attitude people in there so I'm still considering what I'm gonna eat today I don't know anyway peace until next time Okay, so um, I've finished these beads. Let me, let me show you. I actually still have the, do we call it the endings attached to them? So if you see strings, that's what it is. So that's the strings. So I'm gonna cut off the strings in a while. Um, then I'm gonna glue in that section there. Yeah, so that's them there. So I made this extra bead here in the middle that you can see with the clear quartz. It was just a random creation. Anyway, I'm going to give it to my customer as um, a thank you for having patience. So in regards to your bracelets, um, they say that on your, what's this, your left hand, your left hand, you put beads to what are you doing troublesome you put beads to bring in what you want so on the left hand here like i said there's um obsidian beads as well as as well as um lapis lazuli so it'd be bringing in if you want like protection bringing in um clarity as well with the clear quartz and also Obsidian is known for grounding as well, so bringing in grounding, lapis lazuli is for your throat chakra, so bringing in um, for you to express your truth and to communicate from a loving place. So over here, there is on the right hand, rose quartz, so we know rose quartz is for love, so if you want to be giving out love, it's for the right hand here. So yeah, that's it, I've finished.